Welcome in. Welcome everybody to the Bar TV sports coverage of the match of the round up here at St John's Oval in Charlestown. Today we are going to be watching a classic game of two sides that, well, you can't say any less than they absolutely hate each other. And with us up in the commentary box here today, Rowan Kelly. How are you, Rowan? Good, Gareth. How are you, mate? Very well, thank you. It's a pleasure having you here in the box for the first time, or the, the bench for the first time, as it is at St John's. Yeah, mate. Um, obviously, a very good, good ground. Good, good. Um, couple earlier grades here today, and um, yeah, it should be a good game today. I think. Yeah, certainly will be a good game here today, and we're seeing a, a pretty good match in the reserve grade fixture as well. Central coming back from a defeat. Couple of changes though in the in the first grade fixture here today. Uh, most notably for for the west side, uh, Ryan Stig comes out. Warboys comes in the starting lineup. They'll miss him. Yeah. Well, um, However, um, Jordan Warboys, he, I had him here at Central for a couple of years when I was coaching, and um, he's a very, very good player. Um, uh, he played at Cessnock last year, and um, he, he's a fair um, uh, replacement for Ryan Stig. Yeah, and the big news coming out of the Central dressing room pre-game. Uh, Terence C E C out of the match here today. Of course, he is currently leading the, the player of the year points at the moment, so that's going to be a big miss here for the central side. Yeah, I mean he's, he's very influential with what he does around the ruck, um, whether he's playing at hooker or in the halves, so um, yeah, they're, they're going to certainly miss him today, but um, they've got plenty of depth there, they've got some good young kids coming through and um, it'll be interesting to see who they actually start there. Yeah, certainly will. We had a bit of a chat in the dressing rooms before, I believe Murphy may be the man to start there. They may make the, the late switch though. Yeah, I mean, uh, Don Murphy's an, an excellent young player, uh, more a back rower, but um, I've noticed that he's been playing a bit at hooker, um, so they'll probably um, have a more running game early on, and then they'll bring Bryce Kennedy on in, in later in the first half, I'd say, who, who's a very good young hooker, um, both in their early 20s, who, um, yeah, both good kids too. Yeah, definitely, and the Western Suburbs side also missing a Kupu, who has been their go-forward man, their yeah, go-to man uh, coming... Uh, starting the match, he, he'll be uh, sorely missed today with uh, sing, single coming into the side. Yeah, exactly. Um, they, they will certainly miss him. He's, he's been going quite well off the bench and stuff like that, so he'll be very good. Tama Korpu, um, yeah, he, he's been one of the forefront form front rowers for this um, comp this year, and I've just seen him roll in there. I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's a big lump, so um, yeah, they will miss him out there today. Yeah, they certainly will, and he certainly doesn't put anything or leave anything in the tank and it's a good day here at Central Charles now. Not too hot. It was steaming up before, but yeah. the temperature certainly dropped a couple of degrees. So perfect playing conditions, really. Not much breeze at all. And I do miss the amphitheatre style that they used to have here at St John's where the, oh, the breeze circled round. It was, mate, in the big hill there with all my lunatic mates. Used to get up there and be mates ute. And, um, <laughs> I mean, obviously the facilities here are, um, are much different, but I still like the old St John Oval. That was all the... Um, all the, the dirt and stuff yeah. they took out of Charlestown Square from one of their many um, yeah, it was, yeah. renovations. So, um, well, that yeah, was, was part of the deal, wasn't it? The, well, the, no, this is with they the re old. They redeveloped yeah, the old and, and that was with the old thing. They had a massive hill, and it was all from one of their redevelopments from many moons ago. Oh, there you go. A bit of history here at St. John's. Of course, Rowan Kelly, former captain coach of the Central Charlestown side. You're enjoying your retirement? I'm not retired. <laughs> I've retired from league, but some <laughs> idiot's getting me playing bloody rugby union at the moment. So, yeah, I'm, I'm nursing one hell of there. a hangover today, <laughs> Gareth, to be honest. Yeah, well, a bus trip will do that to you. Yeah. Two different styles of coaches here as well for, for the central side and the west side. Matt Lantry, of course, very right into his, his statistics and, and breaking down the game. Craig Barney Miller, he's certainly more, I guess, more driving the players through passion, you'd say? Yeah, well, I've been actually coached by both of them. You know. Craig, when I was um, a young kid, and, um, and Matt only a couple of years ago, which is a bit weird considering I'm older than Matt, but um, uh, Matt was a um, very, very astute coach. I, um, I learned a lot off him in regards to preparation for your team and doing all the stuff about getting ready for the opposition you're playing, plus the review of your game. Um, so, yeah, Matt, Matt, Matt's very good. But, yeah, both different coaches. I mean, I don't know if Barney's changed much since um, he coached me, but... Um, He'd be, um, I'd say he's still the same, so, um, yeah, very different. Yeah, certainly is, and 
Speaking of astuteness out there, Brad Murray probably rated as the best halfback in the Newcastle, certainly the, the rep halfback at the moment. Uh, will be interesting to see how young Warboys goes up against him today, of course, coming into the side. How do you think he's going to handle it? Um, Geordie, Geordie's a very, um, he's got a good kicking game on him. He's very quick on his feet. Um, he hasn't had the best run of luck with injuries the last few years, so it's actually um, nice to see him getting a start out there. I know he had a disrupted early Early year, he had a crook knee, I think. Um, we ran into each other at Neil Halpin's surgery, actually. <laughs> That's how I found out he had a crook knee. So, um, yeah, he will. Um, the big thing to shutting down Brad is just making sure that you um, you get numbers around him, pressure on his kick. Brad directs everything really well. And, um, yeah, if you can get that stuff around him, it'd be, it'd be very good. But, yeah, Jordy will be good out there. He'll control the West team. And, um, yeah, it should set it up for a really good game today. Of course, Warren Schilling's... The rep captain, and of course the Western Suburbs are captain as well. Uh, he's a leader by example. Yeah, definitely. Um, Warren is a very good player, and he um, he will lead from the front today. There's no doubt about that one. Coming up against Ethan Cook, I guess younger now, coming more towards being a veteran. Well, he is getting a bit older, young Ethan. I mean, I call him young, but I just found out he's 27. He told me five minutes ago, so... Um, yeah, he's coming along a bit. He's um, he's madly in love at the moment too, so it's certainly helping his football. That'll which is help, great his, that'll help yeah, any man's game, won't it? So, Settle down off the field. Well, I caught him at the other day. I ran into him at Michael Hill Jewelry, actually. Um, <laughs> I don't know what he was doing there, but um, his pockets looked a bit lighter. Well, he's, got, he's got a flashy earring. Yeah. <laughs> might have been just for himself. <laughs> no, he's a good local junior cookie, and um, seeing him captain in this team now, I, 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 I can't be more proud. I feel very privileged to have played a couple of years alongside him, and yeah, plenty of offers to go to different clubs, and he chose to cut, stick with his um, junior club, and here he is leading them out now. Yeah, here he is now, sporting the beard as well, so no longer the baby face, Ethan Cook, the captain. He's maturing. Here. Central, Newcastle, the Butcher Boys. It'll be an interesting and fascinating game, see how it's played. Do you think it's going to be one through the middle here, or do you think they're going to probably look to attack the edges early? Well, I, I, I did have a look at the um, West team, and they, they must have had a little meeting over the road, and um, they all walked in, all, all dressed serious and stuff like that. And, <laughs> mate, they, they, there's some big, big blokes in that team. Witty Baker and the like, they, they are big men. And yeah, um, Witty Baker, he's, he's a mammoth, isn't he? Oh, ridiculous. So um, I dare say today I'll be going straight through the middle at the first and obviously knock down the door and go around the back after that and go out the back. So well, definitely, so. they've probably got two of the best finishers in the game, Ryan Walker, and you oh, can certainly lay it on. And, absolutely. You know, and Ryan Brad Walker. Ty certainly hasn't lost too much. No, no, well, he's got plenty of experience with all his NRL um, time he spent there. But, um, yeah, Ryan Walker, he's you know, arguably the best player in the comp at the moment. And um, it's interesting he's in the centres. I, I like seeing him a bit closer to the action. But, um, you yeah, know, I think he'll probably play left edge for Wes. And he will, um, I'm sure, be close to finishing off a couple of meat pies today. And Dylan Clark coming out to the centre here. He'll be the referee here today. Young referee. It's good to see the young referees coming through. Yeah, he does, I believe. Yeah, you got Louis Matheson out there with a flag in his hand. He actually had him at school a couple of years ago, and he used to always a um, very enthusiastic young referee. And he would have loved to have sent you off. Uh, he, I think he refed us one game, and I said, mate, Dad, he, he, he was very good, actually. Um, he loves the game, and you know, obviously we need referees, or there will be no game. As we see the coaching staff walk past us here at St John's Oval, it's going to be central to kick off. Running right to left on your screens there at home, and the west side just taking their time to come out here. There might be a bit of gamesmanship happening there, I'd say. Um, what well, is Central's second west four? But they're both sitting on eight points. Yeah, it's um, the, the competition is so tight this year. I've, I can't believe it. You know, like Central sitting second and their their four wins and four losses. You got me down? So Brad Murray with the kick, referee signalling time on. So here we go for the Newcastle Rugby League round nine, match of the round. West take the ball and here's Tafua taking the ball up. Has a little jink in his run and he's met by a solid wall of central defence there. As they come for the second tackle and all really throwing their bodies at them that time. We haven't mentioned it yet, Gareth, but there's plenty of ex-West players in this Central team as well. So, And there's a few central ex-Central boys in the West team as well. So no love lost. It's a little scoop from dummy half there from Ty. Looking to get the quick play of the ball and forcing the penalty. 
So first penalty early on, and Central won't be happy with that one. That was a fair first set by West, actually. Um, they were lining up to get to their kick and um, got a nice penalty. As we've got the other referees on the field today, Gareth, it actually annoys me seeing so much there's a lot of pink, and pink there's out, a lot of pink out <laughs> there, isn't there? Yeah, I don't. Um, I can't get it through my head what they're all doing, but let's just hope they get the decisions right, and that's yeah. all that matters. They've got the in goal second referee, couple of touch judges, and of course the main referee as well. And Tafua takes that hit up there. So nine in and a dummy half. Underrated hooker. Yep, ex-Central Junior too, I'll add to that. It's a, it's a very mixed match squads out there from both played to both clubs. All. So here he is again, Knight, feeding it wide. Stepping back on the inside is Keenan. Keenan still going, nice hit. Stuck to the tackle there was Ethan Cook. So now going down the short side, there's a little bit on here but doesn't manage to get the ball away. Herman. Had a good rep campaign himself. Yeah, very good player, Matt Herman. He, um, he's a talented sportsman all around. Beat me in, his, in the cricket grand final this year, actually. So well, There you go, West not... come wide now. Oh, stepping off the left foot, can't quite make it through there, was Warboys. Oh, just oh. a little bit of a mix-up there between uh, Knight and O'Donnell. So first mistake there by West, but they look pretty dangerous early on, Rowan. Yeah, they do. Um, there's a nice little set there, just a bit of a muck up at the end there. But um, I think he actually slipped a little bit, O'Donnell, eh, there. Um, I think that might have been part of the reason of the mistake. But, yeah, West, uh, Central now got to roll up the sleeves and get out of their own end. So three minutes down. Central now looking to... Get out of their half for the first time here today. And see Kanofo, he certainly does a lot of their early work in the set. Brad Murray kicks away early. Wasn't quite looking for the 40-20, but turns around Keenan. And Keenan lets the ball go into the end goal. And now he gets out, manages to get out. But good kick chase there by Central. Yeah, that, that's the, obviously the strength of Brad Murray with that. Um, unfortunately, a penalty here for what? I think for Wes. He has put his arm up, yep. Yep. Yeah, um, but that, that early uh, early kick there by Brad um, certainly put Wes back on the back foot. But Central's just got to fix up their discipline a little bit here. I, I, I'm, you know, it's the early stages of the game, but there's got a little bit of motion there, I think, at the moment. So hopefully um, they'll fix this up because these penalties will come back and take their toll eventually. So Ty with the tap there. Matt Herman. Good run. He's a real workhorse, isn't he, Matt Herman? And now Tafua. And very skillful on the edge, too, that he can pass. I think he's actually played 5-8 a couple of times for West, so it's big, good having a big body there who can actually pass the ball. Now they go to Wall boys, turning it back inside to foul. Gets them up to the 40. Schillings goes in behind him, so disjointed attack here again from West. Now broken play. As Knight takes the ball, goes to Tafua. Tafua will settle the ball midfield. A real good chance now for the attacking kick. As they go left to War Boys. War Boys with a little grubbing kick in behind. Nikonofo oh. goes without it. This could be close here for West. West will oh. go over, will they? No, it's they tripped. won't. I think he tripped and over He's fallen feet. over. Elias it was. Now looking to come wide. Herman in behind now. Brad Ty should sit up for him. Yes, it does. And that is the first try of the match, Rowan. Yeah, that was, and that was a kick on play one, too. Obviously, West had the six to go there from a nice little kick by War Boys. O'Donnell put the put the ball on the, um, the foot straight away. Obviously saw a few numbers over there out there. And Brad Ty with a nice try. Um, I mean, yeah. Just all, sat up for him perfectly, yeah, didn't it? It did, mate. He's got um, plenty of guts to do that on play one. It was, yeah, I was going to say, it was the first play. And... He saw the opportunity. I don't know where was, Coach Lantry is, but I, I mean, he'll be happy that was a try, but play one. He'd still be shaking his head, I'd, I'd imagine. Yes, he will be. How you feeling, mate? Yeah, In any okay. case, it could have been hands anyway to score the try, but the kick got them there a little bit quicker towards the line. Yeah, Central need to regroup now and... Let, I think wet, get West to a kick here would be important for them. A nice early um, early kick from West will help Central scores and get back into this game because there have been a couple of penalties early, a couple of errors. Um, 
But you saw how you know, Central had a really, they've only had the ball once, and it was a good set by Brad with a really big early kick. So Sam Keenan with the kicking duties here today. Another ex student, Sam Keenan. It's quite a few of them floating around here. Some Francis Saviour, yeah. of course. He's a good young kid. Very talented at rugby as well, Gareth. He was. Oh, that's a nice oh, kid. That goes through. Only just hitting the post. So 6 0 the score. And Brad Murray walks back for the kick. You want to get this nice and deep into the corners. And that is a good kick. It swirls around. And he comes to Fua. To Fua. With a charging run towards centre field. Kind of crabbed across field there, Owen. Yeah, I think the central boys were really moving up down that left edge of the field. And he saw a little bit of a gap. But they just need to stick solid here with this defence. Get a couple of good defensive sets in. Good run there by Schillings. Now to foul. Spinning around, but making good yards. About 10 metres in that run. Knight comes out of dummy half. Oh, he's hit very hard. and He can hit, can't he, Murphy? Oh, Don Murphy, that's one of his skills. You know, he, he won, one of the best tackle techniques I've seen on a, on a young kid. Um, he, he's very good at that. He's Richardson. Richardson, one of the best performers for Central this year. At the back, very safe. Nice little run from dummy half as well. Yeah, it's good to see Cal back. Good to see Cal back home um, in blue and white. Jermaine Ale. And Brad Murray in a dummy half. As Mitch Williams takes a very good run. This is a good set here for Central. Now attacking. Murray has the ball. Goes wide. Liam Boney calling for the ball. Brad Murray's line to the left. They're calling for a penalty. It's the last tackle here. A little chip over the top. Not really doing much that kick. Now coming back is the west side. Yeah, I've no doubt um, West done a lot of homework on on Murray's kicking. So they, um, Josh Allison was certainly sitting there waiting for that one. Um, might have been a little bit higher, I think. Get him competing for the ball. Make, that was a good set by Central. Finally getting a bit of ball. Well, he was kind of caught off guard a little bit there. That's a knock-on. Yeah, that is a knock-on. The referee, all four of them picked it up. Yeah. <laughs> so it looks like Schilling might be down in back play as well. And he will be sorely missed if he is injured because he's yeah. so important to the go forward. Well, the trainer's getting something out of his pocket. It might be an ankle injury or... Yeah, getting it strapped outside the boot. Yep. As is custom. Yep. <laughs> Obviously, the interchanges makes a difference now about getting people off and on the field. You know, um, I'm sure he'll test it out, but with only eight interchanges, it makes a makes a difference early on, especially with only nine minutes gone to lose um, a forward who, you know, Schillings plays pretty big minutes, so... Um, yeah, this is a bit of a concern for Coach Lantry. Yeah, definitely. He would, I mean, he's the type of player that plays the, the full 80, isn't mm, he? And yeah. If they miss him, they miss their go forward. Yeah, I mean, they've got, they got a very strong bench today, Wes, obviously. They've got you know, plenty of experience in someone like Ryan Petro and um, Witty Baker there, who is an absolutely gigantic man. So, so Schilling's... <laughs> He's okay to go. So Central with the ball. Ikenofo. Marcel taking the ball forward. Playing in the 20 jersey. Yes. Um, he must have a superstition or something like that while he wants to stick in the 20. <laughs> I think it's a sizing problem. He's a big man. And now coming across. Boney turning back on the inside. Gray. Yeah, Murphy in a dummy half. As they go in behind to Murray, Murray. Back to Richardson. Richardson steps off his left, goes back towards the post, and he's wrapped up about eight metres out. Now they go back to the right. 
Just one out stuff here for Central. Looks a little bit one dimensional at the moment. Rowan. Yeah, they're not they're not throwing too much at them at the moment. But Boney with a kick in behind Reed gathers. Set here. Yeah, six more. Remember they might set up a bit of shape this set now and um and then challenge the West West defence because the, that last set was just one out stuff. It was Madden. Yeah, here's Murray calling for the ball. Ayo with a pop oh. pass and then goes without it. That was a right idea. Ethan Cook was flying through there. Um, just probably an execution cost him there. But, yeah, Jermaine, you know, wingers come centre, come second row, come front rower. He's um, obviously got some speed and some skills there. And that was the right move, but just poor execution in the end. Yes. Unlucky there. St John's able to score 6-0 in favour of West, of course. We're live on Bar TV Sports. Might blame Ethan Cook for that one. <laughs> <laughs> he ran the wrong line. Yeah. <laughs> Should have been the overs line. Yeah. Now the ball comes in. They go to the left. Oh, good tackle there. By the central side. They want to keep them camped down there and now west. They've found metres fairly easily. And Walker tries to get around and he's wrapped up. It'll be a good battle out there on that, that far side at the moment. Walker versus Williams. Um, both um, in the rep team and both excellent players and have been for a long time. So it should be a really good battle over there. Hopefully they get some ball and, and we can see it. There's to fail. Now here comes Schillings. No sign of restriction for that ankle injury earlier on. No, it looks pretty good. In fact, it looks better. Yeah. Now comes to the right, shapes the kick and goes to Brad Ty instead with a little bit of room on the edge. Inside to Herman. Herman's still going, loses the ball. Good defence by Central. Obviously saw that there was um, a, you know, waiting for a kick there on play five and um, they really held their ground and were pretty passive in defence there and yeah, West certainly doing their homework, haven't they? They've exploited that edge a couple of times now. Oh, no secret, Gareth, that Brad Murray's there. They're going to try and wear him out. So Underrated defensively, Brad Murray, isn't he? He's well, he gets used to it because everyone runs everyone at runs him. At him so yes, that's <laughs> it's either he has to get used to it or he, it's not very good. So. so here he is now, and they'll get the penalty offside there. West just creeping up. Looking for the quick tap and the big grin. Yeah. So going for touch now. And they find touch just on the other side of the 30 metre line. So Cook turned back on the inside. He's driven back on his back. Good tackle. Dominant tackle there by the west side. Murray. And again, Tafua comes in there on Mitch Williams and Closes up the gap in the middle. Murray goes. Richardson finds a bit of space. And the West scrambling at the moment, the Rosellas. And here's Murray. Murray short of runners there. And Mitch Williams charges into the defence. Now Murray goes to Boney. Boney goes across field. He's wrapped up nicely. Good tackle by Elias. This will be the last tackle. As Murray now gets it across field. That's a very well-weighted kick. Oh, oh he's Anderson. up, and that's a try. Cam Anderson goes up and comes down with it for Central's first try of the day. Yeah, excellent work there by Cam Anderson. Nice kick. Cam, obviously, tall and skinny, and um, one thing he can do is leap, so um, very good try there to Central. Yeah, it was a very, very well-weighted kick, wasn't it, by Murray? Yeah, it was a good set by Central, actually. They're, they're, they're a couple of um, hiccups there where they just they throw a bit more at them, they're going to expose this West team, but now I get them back there, I'm, I've no doubt Murray will kick this goal and will be locked up here after 15, I'd say. A yeah, good kicker too, Murray, isn't he? He's certainly very safe in his goal kicking. He doesn't miss too many. I think you're in a good spot here, mate. 
started well. Just from our point of view, I think central creeping out of yardage. We're talking to Matt Lynch before the game. He was the man they had to shut down, Brad Murray, and he had a bit of space. And that was probably the first time he had some some time. Yeah, well, as he makes that successful. Cam, Cam Anderson's up against Josh Allison here, and um, Josh Allison's he's not short either, so that's a very good loop by Cam, and obviously Brad puts um, his kicks on a dime, so um, yeah, it was a good try. Yeah, he's a streaky winger, isn't he, Anderson? Yeah, he's fantastic, Cam. He, um, he's a wily character. <laughs> So kick by West goes deep. Boney takes it on the full, and that's a good run. And looking to go the full hundred again. Yeah, Tom Central. Madden's on there. They've made an interchange. Um, I think he started the game. He started it. Yep. It was a good run. Here's Marcel. Always manages to make about ten metres. Now Cook met by a swarm of defenders there by West. He's ail, ail. As you said, adapted so nicely to his years. Yeah, it's good. Might get a few more out of him, which is good. As Murray with the early kick again. He goes towards the sideline. Alatani looking to get away from Murphy. Does so. Straightens up now. Bounces out of Murray's tackle. Good run there. Keenan in a dummy half. He'll take a run there and offsides the call. So easy metres there for the first couple of tackles in this set. Now they go wide. Walker dances, straightens, and good defence on the far side. As you said, it's a, it's a very good battle between Williams and Walker. Now over halfway. Knight with the early kick again. That's a spiralling high bomb. Brad Ty. Tripped in back play, but taken nicely by Richardson. Not really pressured in the kick. Oh, it's a good kick, but um, well done by Richo with his take there. It swirled around. I wouldn't have liked to be under that one. <laughs> I wouldn't have got within five metres. Here he is, the try scorer. Yeah, Cam, he's, um, Anderson's certainly um, you know, a bit... Bit fine with his build, and he always trying to work on it, putting putting weight on. But there's one thing he's got under that that left the side of his heart there, mate. He's, he's plenty of ticker there, and he rips oh, in. Cook's absolutely belted by Schilling and Tafua. Gray coming from the opposite side as Murray puts the kick in. Keenan stops it with his foot and he looked to come back and it's a good chase there by Central. Oh, good tackle. Yeah, Don Murphy again. Allison taking some heat. This is a better defensive set here for Central. Now Walker has the ball. What can he do? Tries to get outside his man and yeah, they look like they shift well there, Central. Yeah, Central look like they got more numbers than West do out there. Actually, yet West is still going out to that edge. And then Walker's a very, very fine runner of the ball, but it's like they're just going, let's run. And Central numbering up really well over that edge. Alatani with the run there, down of dummy half. It's nice work. Elias gets them over halfway. Now they go to the left. Warboys with a kick in behind. Richardson there. He's very good, astute posi positionally, and tries to get through and almost does half a gap there. And here he is again, Marcel. Catching them all offside. So the momentum has shifted a little to, towards Central here. Yeah, certainly got their backs up at the moment, which is good. Um, they're getting some good defensive plays, which is good, making West kick kick early and put them under pressure. But, I mean, Cal, Cal Richardson at the back certainly bringing the ball back and helping that, that penalty certainly help with his return of the ball. So kick finds touch right on halfway. Hold the red. Hold it. Go. Go. 
Shane Gray. Takes the first hit up. So they're over halfway now, Central. Murphy in a dummy half. Wasn't named to start there. Nice ball. Murray, and here they come now, Central. Oh, the hands. As Gordon now has a bit to do and dances, but he's taken down by Brad Ty. He's Ale again, offloading. Boney calling for it. And they go the way of Boney. Richardson on the inside. They go to the outside. Williams gets through. But again, the defence of the Rosellas is up to the task. Here's Boney taking one out. As Murray stands deep. Gets the ball, goes across field again and again, perfectly placed. Allison goes up for it, it's on the ground and that's a try! Ethan Cook pounces on the ball. That was a good try. Um, much better work there by Central going through the middle there, some quick hands, um, creating that little bit of an overlap out here on the left, which was um, really well done, but that was a good try. Yeah, they did well, didn't they? And again, almost the mirrored play. Do you think they'll go back there again, Gareth? I'd say. <laughs> it's, I wouldn't say it's a mismatch out there, but he certainly is beating him in the air at the moment. Yeah, I'd say they might try that a few more times this afternoon. Allison, of course, the bigger build of the two wingers, but <laughs> Cam Anderson, he certainly got up there again and forced the error. He's got springs in those lovely red boots he's got on at the moment. Look at him. Fast. Well, if you want to look like a Ferrari, you've got to That's drive it. like a Ferrari, That's right? Yeah, he's, a, he's a great kid, Cam Anderson, and um, you know he loves his loves this club and um, and certainly plays well and truly above his weight. But it's good to see Big Ethan Cook getting a try there. It'll be nice. Doesn't score too many these days. Oh, mate, he does. I think he ticks over a little bit, but um, he's an accumulator, is he? Yeah, he is, mate. He um, look at him. He, very happy for him to get a bit of meat there. Good on him. And Murray makes no mistake with the conversion. So Central, we were saying moments before the try, their momentum had shifted and they come up with the try. Yeah, that try, the first try from Central, it certainly changed the whole momentum of the game. And and now, yeah, you know, looking at the West body language, it's um, I think they look a bit shell shocked here. So. They don't get much on that kick either, so Boney comes and takes it nicely. And he's had a good half, hasn't he? Wasn't named to start. Madden. Run there by Matt Baker. Matt Baker back in the team the last couple of weeks. He's been injured. Um, yeah, another young player with, with plenty of ability. Big body too. Come on to replace Jermaine Ail, who yeah. had a fair stint first off. Yeah, very good. He, he gave so many options off the ball as well. Yeah. Different sort of players, Baker and Ail, so it'll toughen up the middle. And definitely, he's probably got a bigger engine, maybe. Who? Jermaine or... <laughs> yeah, he might. <laughs> The evolution of a player with Jermaine. It's, a, it's unreal, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, love it. I love it. From winger to the front row. Second man play there. And met comfortably by the west side, but Central now on a real roll here. It's a John Oval. Murphy comes out of dummy half, and while he's a makeshift hooker, he's certainly not doing any disservice to his side, is he? No, he's... Um, I mean, he's a competitor, Don Murphy, which is um, half the battle with rugby league, and he certainly um, ticks all those boxes. That, you know, he loves winning and competing on every play. Inside ball to Madden again. He's shifted across field. They go to the right, Boney, looking for runners. Bodies in motion. Williams has it. He's tackled 10 metres out. Here's Marcel coming out of dummy stop. half. He is hard to stop from that far out, but he is stopped. 
the ball finds the ground. Richardson kicks it in behind. Keenan somehow juggles it, comes up with it and gets out of the end goal. Some of these West players are finding it hard to get back there. Hands on hips, hands on heads there. Um, Central certainly on top here. Yeah, they've definitely lifted the Central side. Now Walker trying to alleviate some pressure there and find some easy metres, but there's nothing easy coming at the moment, Rowan. No, there's not. Good run by Ryan Petro, fresh on the field there, the big fella. Good to see him back out there playing. Yeah, he's big, isn't he? He's... Adds a lot of starch oh, to the bench. And there I have. I've wrapped up Witty Baker the whole day, and that's his first carry. <laughs> he's spilled it. He's spilled it. He had a, I wouldn't say he had a look, but it certainly bounced off his chest, yeah. and he was looking to charge into the central Very spectacular. Break the line. The referee just having a chat out there. Talking about the scrum, Gareth. After playing rugby, I'm, it's very hard to hear this. <laughs> Over halfway, Steve Gordon. They look to go wide early there. There's Baker. Yeah, that's a good run there, making about 15 metres was Mitch Williams. Now they go to the left, Murray. Goes to Cook, Cook, trying to get outside his man. He does, he's strong, and he goes towards the line, but he's held there. Couldn't get the arm free. Appealing for the penalty. Now Murray has the ball. Pressure's on. This could be close, and Keenan somehow... Gets to the ball. Penalty's cool. Offside. Yeah, offside's the call. They're certainly making inroads here, Central. Um, it's been a um, interesting back end of this this half here. They're, they're, you now the West blokes look certainly shell shocked here. Yeah, they're very flat and they've become a little disorganised themselves. It was central that started out, I guess, the rougher of the two. Yeah, definitely. Now Knight in a dummy half looking for runners. Finds Matt Herman. Matt Herman gets them up towards the halfway. And here he is again, Baker. This is a better run by the the big number sixteen. Looking to make an impact off the bench. Cafeo, he was named on the bench but came to the side. And got through good minutes so far, so they've got a good engine on him. Oh, that's oh. going to be called a high tackle and might find himself in a bit of trouble here. There's a penalty, there's a penalty. Let's leave it at that. Yeah, Matt Baker there, just front row and a half back, mate. That's what happens. Run across field. It's a little clip around the ears. Just the arm was out. Yep. Ducked into it, Rowan. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> we will have the standard warning to Ethan Cook here for whatever it is. He's making himself known. Penalty, you come up high. Considering a high tackle, we're going to put it on report. Let's pick check it. So put on report there. Yep. <coughs> I think O'Donnell got up laughing at it, so I don't think Matt Baker's going to have too much to worry about. <laughs> yeah, he came across field. He's got the ball in hand now. Finds touch. Opportunity for West here, Gareth. He, um, they, they need to apply a bit of pressure. They've only been down here once and got a try, but um, other than that, it's been all central. Petro with a run midfield. Baker goes behind Baker. Now they come out to War Boys turning... Back on the inside. There's Elias. Elias gets the ball away. Here's Herman. Herman goes back in field, but he's brought down five metres out. Baker looking for the ball, but again, they go to O'Donnell. O'Donnell wide now to Wall Boys. Wall Boys looking for runners. Shrugs off one. Back to O'Donnell. Slowing the play down. Looking 
for something, but the central players through Murphy close it down. Tefeo pops the ball up. Baker spins away, but he's brought down as well. So Wes, they go side to side, but Warboys puts the kick in behind, and Marcel with the bunt backwards. Now, not a bad set by Wes. I'd like to see Jordan Warboys probably take a little bit more control here. It looks like O'Donnell's really taken on this right edge. I'm, I'm assuming that must be part of their game plan, but there still might be some opportunities on that left side, especially with Ryan Walker. There, He's arguably the best player in the comp. I'd be trying to get him the ball as much as I possibly can. So Murray with a lovely drop kick up to halfway. Here's Petro, winds up and looks to break the line. He does. He's hard to put down. Yeah, big body on Ryan Petro. That was a good, um, good solid run. Sean Metcalf on the field now. Didn't start the game. Now coming out is Warboys, O'Donnell. They go around. Here comes Keenan. Keenan looking for Allison, and he's taken, jumping up. He's very, very close, but he's pulled up short. Here's Herman again. Offloads. O'Donnell was there. The pass was on. Now they go to Warboys. Warboys goes across field. Here's Elias. Elias is taken. Last ditch effort there by the Butcher Boys. They go. Short side and Boney. Oh, well done, William Boney. Cleans it up. I think they're going back to this shot on Josh Allison here. Yeah, he left the ground, didn't he? Yeah, I think Steve Gordon might have given him a little clip around the ears here. Have a bit of a listen here. Fifteen. Okay, listen. Have the high tackle again. Yeah. Straight after I've warned you over here about the high tackle. Right. Keep him out of the game. It's a foul play penalty. You, gotta be, you can't be calling the five play. There's an advantage. Understand. That's an advantage. It's a penalty. So arguing the advantage there, but the oh, touch judge came in and reported it. Yeah, I agree with his point there with Ethan Cook. They, they play out the whole set and then... Then you get the penalty again. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't really make sense. If it's that foul, why doesn't he come off straight on the field and say it was that bad? Who'd be a referee? <laughs> I know. But my point is, if Josh Allison doesn't get up there, there's a penalty straight away. Yeah, that's right. And I'm sure our viewers out there agree. Of course, comment if you're watching on Facebook. O'Donnell now goes across. Short ball to Baker. He's been well contained so far. Here's O'Donnell. O'Donnell inside to Herman. Herman goes towards the line, but he's turned on his back. Not looking for the quick play, the ball. They go across field. The ball... Goes across the ground. They come up with it somehow through Elias. And Elias, he's brought down. But the west side look out of ideas at the moment. Mr. Fowler, he take the ball. O'Donnell calling for it. Herman on his outside. Steps back. Looks for a bit of a gap. Almost gets to the line. But again, that last play lets them down. Yeah, they, they look very disjointed. That set of six west. They really didn't threaten the central line at all. Um, but... But credit to Central, that's really good defence. So Central now with all the work to do. They've been doing plenty of defending. Deep in their own half. Richardson. Sean Metcalf. Good run. Mitch Williams, he's been very good tight today, Mitch Williams. Yeah, he's had a good game so far today. As Richardson gets into dummy half and gets out of dummy half. Almost catching the West defensive line off guard and Boney with the kick this time. It's high, it's swirling, it's hard. Keenan comes across and oh, that is very good hands. 
Almost did it with his eyes closed. Yeah, he's um he's a skillful player, Sam Keenan. I don't mind him. I don't mind him at the back. Um, you know, he can inject himself when he wants and get involved. He's appealing for the penalty there. I know I'll take a quote off the twelfth man, but you can throw a handkerchief over this West team at the moment. They are they're very bunched. They're arguing with the ref. They want some easy meters here. I think. Is that biased, what I'm saying? <laughs> Not if you're two years retired from the game. <laughs> Luke singles on as well for the west side. As Herman takes that hit up, O'Donnell with the kick. It goes up high. And Richardson under pressure, but he does well again. He's an absolute rock at the back, isn't he? Yeah, we're self-destructing here. I don't think um, Matt Lantry is going to be too happy with this back end of this second half. I mean, full credit to Central there. They're not letting them get any control of the game, but little things like that, they're little discipline things. Stay behind the kicker, and if you're not, don't get engaged in it. Yeah, and he certainly strives for perfection. Well, I'm looking at him at the end of the grandstand here. I think there might be a couple more greys popped into that locks of his. After this first half, we well, just gave you a filthy look. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Inside ball, that's oh, a good hit. Matt it. Herman came out of the line and absolutely threw his body at it. Oh, oh a little kick there, yeah, maybe. That was. I think he might have... the five referees missed that. <laughs> He's bleeding from his head too, Matt Herman. I think he kicked his own player though. Yeah. I... <laughs> a little. Kick digging with the Spurs. It was, it was a weird incident, certainly. Something there. Something to look at. Metcalf goes forward. He's been good since he's been on. Now Murray takes the line on and runs into Baker, the biggest man on the field. Yeah, I don't know if he'll do that many more times, um, Murray. That was um, probably not. Boney gets the ball and he puts the kick over. To the far side, Marcel. Oh, great take. It was a lovely oh, no, take. Central's Marcel it. takes it. Yes, it was a good take. Yeah, I thought that might have been Alatini over there with the pill, but what's he saying? It's a scrub. West Speed. Hey. <laughs> There's five of them out there. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem, Rowan. Yeah. Not a bad set by Central. They're not, they, they made plenty of metres down the field, aren't yeah, it was a very good set. They came off their own line. and Brad Murray might position himself for a, maybe a shot at a point here if, if the yeah, option... Coming into half-time, not a bad yeah, option. A couple of minutes to go. And if the opportunity presents, Matt Herman getting some attention at the moment. Yeah, so he had that gash open from that big hit he put on earlier on in the game. He's been very um, aggressive with his defence today, Matt Herman, which is that, that's, that's how he plays the game. But certainly leading from the front now, he's an experienced campaigner and one of the leaders in this West team. And um, now he'll get through the whole 80 minutes and, and do his best for his, for his team and, and leading from the front. And he's doing it with his defence. He's had some really good charges today with the ball and every time he gets the ball he's a threat too because he can pass he can kick yeah skillful player not required in the scrum though so driven back nice work central really oh jeez that's a knock on too yeah brad murray oh, just getting geez. in the thick of it there well, he's lashed got, out the west player and then it looked like he knocked it on, and now it looked like now sent, um, West have got the, the penalty. Yeah, the referee did call hell, but whether the players hurt him or not, mm. should have got help from his assistant. He was right there. So here's Elias. Thrown to his back there by Metcalf. And this game's threatening to blow up here. Rowan? Yeah, I, 
I think Central just need to keep their discipline here. I mean, they're in front. Well, West really don't look like they're offering too much at this moment. Um, Central need to just behave themselves here and, and get to half time and, and have a chat and have a rest. Yeah, certainly the home crowd here does not want to see them self-destruct. They're in command at the moment. Oh, West are going to get a nice shot here and, um, with a couple of minutes to go before half time and maybe set up a bit of camp down here for a couple of minutes. Hold! Hold! It's a good opportunity now for Wests. The Rosellas, as they're affectionately known. <laughs> That's what's on their um, emblem. <laughs> sure, Paul. Nice line run there. I don't think we've ever single. called on the Rosellas. Another nice short ball to Petro. Good interchange of passing there between the forwards. I'd like to see Witty Baker get off the back fence here and um, and then threaten the central line. Here's Elias. Elias has been threatening on the edge, though, and here he is now, Witty Baker. What can he do? He puts the big palm out. But he's taken down. He's contained again by the central side. Can't afford to give away the penalty. Here's O'Donnell. Nice tackle there. Brad Murray. You said it earlier, Gareth. Good defence. Matt Herman threatening. Now Keenan with a long ball. Warboys puts the kick in behind. Bounces. It goes up. This will be a try, will it? Walker goes over. That is a try right before half time. Yeah. Not a bad set by West, but um, yeah, I, once again, come back to a bit of discipline by Central. Um, certainly something they need to improve on just when they're you know, feeling the game, how it's, how it's going, but. Yeah, good try by Wes. Yeah, did well. Coming out. Can you hear me, mate? Talk, you talk. Yeah, can you hear me? I'm not even open. I'm not even pressing any buttons. It's now the open mic, okay? Is I don't play league anymore, so I can say what I want, I suppose. <laughs> That's right. No official none. duties? None. Free of the judiciary? Free of the, yeah. How many times did you... Never. Front? Never. Never. That's impressive. Yeah, I um, I think John Taylor looked after me a couple of times. He used to um, tell me to keep the tackles down when... But, I mean, now with them under the New South Wales League banner, it's a little bit more strict. Well, Keenan um, kicks it. This looks pretty good. Oh, that is kick. good. That is a cracking kick. A very good kick by Sam Keenan. Yeah, we're going to go into half time here at 12 all, and it's, it's been a fair game of footy so far. Well, it's been an unbelievable game of football. As the clock ticks down, there's not long to go as Murray comes back to be halfway. Any rush. There's not going to be any rush here. <laughs> Less than 30 seconds remaining. Well, you reckon he might go for a little short one here and see if they can get it? Or <laughs> well, just play safe and drive it deep. So there'll be one play here, you'd imagine. And they do play safe. They go deep, bouncing around. Good oh, kick there oh. by Murray. Now forced to get off the his own line. And the clock ticks down. Fifteen, hands off to me. Central hold. Go to. Now they go to the left. Stepping. And go. It's going to be half time. Wall boys here. Yeah. Half time. Yeah, one play. Buzzer here. sign. Here goes Walker. Walker. We know he can light it up and he can score from anywhere. But he's hold. met hold. by four or five defenders there, and that'll be half time. What are your thoughts, Ron? Oh, pretty even game. Um, 12 all probably sums up where it was. Um, West strong early, Central come back in the middle of the half, and um, and West at the end. So 12 all probably fits the game. And um, yeah, I, I couldn't split them at the moment, to be honest. I, I just like, obviously, I might be a bit biased. I'd like to see Central's discipline just improve. improve yeah, it has let them down. I guess they yeah. had to do a lot of defending, probably more defending, you'd imagine. Yeah, uh, in the half. I don't. I mean, I, I don't know what the penalty count is, but I think West have probably got a few more. But you know, there's not. I couldn't argue with any of the penalties. So, yeah, you know, 
hopefully um, they'll address that at half time because um, discipline, obviously, with so many men in pink out there, they're not going to miss much. So, you know, a lot of them are uh, things that they need to make sure they can fix up. But, yeah, I couldn't split them so far at half time. Yeah, 12 apiece at half time. We're going to take a quick break and come back with all the second half action.
Well, welcome back, everybody, to the Bar TV Sports feature match. It is round nine in the Newcastle Rugby League in Central Charlestown, Western Suburbs here at St John's Oval with the scores locked up at 12 apiece. And it's been a toing and froing battle with the Central side getting the ascendancy late in the second half, but then West scoring right before the stroke of half time. Really denting the momentum that they had. We'll be joined by Rowan Kelly very shortly. He's going to get all the mail and all the news out of the dressing rooms at halftime for us. As we see the central side coming onto the field, West remaining in the dressing shed. They did this at the start of the game as well, so... Playing the mind games here with the central side. It's 12 apiece. And we've got 40 minutes remaining in this Bar TV Sports feature match. Live here today. As we see the referees coming to the field now. Coaching staff making their way across to the grandstand side. Matt Lantry having a longer than usual word to his side out there. They sit fourth on the ladder, the Western Suburbs side and Central sitting pretty in second. But they both on eight points with West with a game in hand as well. After moving that match to the weekend off because of the rep players they had out what are your thoughts on that Rowan um, welcome back <laughs> yeah. to go get some right, right in the hot seat um, oh, I guess they got their rules in place for it um, I don't know what the players think they're gonna have to have a, in their week off they're gonna have to play so if there's any other wet weather between now and then I don't know what they're gonna do well they moved last weekend to Cessnock didn't they mm. yeah it was a bit of a shock Obviously, West um, not worried about their gate takings. No, that's right. <laughs> so, West will be kicking off here, and referee blows time on. Very good hit. Then Metcalf comes back, and he charges onto it. Up to the 22. Good kick return there. He's been solid since he's come on, hasn't he? Yeah, he has been. They're not doing kickoffs by West, are they? No, they're not. No. They seem a little bit off their game, but they're still in the match. It's 12 apiece. Is Marcel taking them forward? He can run. There's no doubt about that. He's a good player. Going wide to Cook, scoring a try. Yeah, good set of sixes Early by Central, too. Yeah, starting off better than they did start the game. There's Baker, he gets them up to the 40. And Murray puts the kick in behind. Keenan, he finds some space, Keenan now. Gets them up to the 30 metre line. It was a good run by the fullback. Oh, nice hit by Murphy, putting his body on the line, but didn't stick to the tackle. No. He, um, probably he's over, over energy there on um, that kick chase too. Well, he gave away the penalty as well, so might need to temper it down a little bit there, Ron. Yeah, he's um, one thing. As I said before, he's a he's a competitor, and everything he does is is for the betterment of the team. Even though he just needs to tone it down a little bit there. Halfway. Let's go to the tap. Red with the ball. O'Donnell. I'd like to see Ryan Walker get involved in this half. Um, hasn't seen too much of the ball. No, nah, not at he? all. I mean, I, you know, him and Simon Williams, you know, they're both classy players and probably cancel each other out a little bit. But I think West, if there are any chance in this game, they need the ball in Ryan Walker's hands. Well, Brad Ty comes out of dummy half. Speaking of centres, he scored a try in the first half. Do they give official warnings in the Newcastle Rugby League? Now they're under the New South Wales banner. Like the other night in that Roosters game, that was... I 
would imagine they do. <laughs> so they kick for touch. West okay. looking to get the first points on the board don't here. Shoot, don't shoot, attacking don't position. They go to O'Donnell. Here's Baker. Just changing his line before the defensive line. Now they go to O'Donnell again. Back to Warboys. Warboys turning. Walker back on the inside. Walker straightens up, but he's taken midfield. Hold, hold. Go to. Now they go. O'Donnell again. Turns Brad Ty on the inside and He's looking to link up. He might not need to. Oh, if he had had someone off yeah. his hip there, that was Definitely. trouble. War boys maybe should have been there. Now they go wide. O'Donnell with a kick in behind. Kick. This will be close. Oh, it does well. Uh, He's no had zone. a good game, hasn't he? He has been, but um, I think he forgot that Brad Tyler was playing the ball then as well. So He's Anderson to Marcel. Winger to winger. Certainly different sizes, different <laughs> body shapes. Uh, maybe um, Cam needs to have a chat to him about diet, yeah, <laughs> nutrition. <laughs> How can I get half your size, Marcel? Maybe Marcel wants to be Anderson size. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice swirling high kick. Oh, Allison yeah, under pressure. That, he? There he is again, Anderson now. Six more tackles in a good position. The central, that was a very tough kick to take. Yeah, I don't know if Josh had to um, actually have, a, have an attempt at that, but now Central certainly, um, West, West forward still getting back on side here, so that's Colner, Central, good is chance it? here. In the 17. Yeah, Matt Colner called into the squad late today. The injury to Terence C is here. Inside ball to Metcalf, Metcalf running elbows run. up. Here comes Cook, Cook. Can he get set outside his man? No, he's taken down. Now Murphy standing wide. Murray shoots the ball out. Boney almost stagnant there. Walker comes in. Ryan standing. Line. Shane Gray, was it? Yeah, it was Shane Gray. Coming across. This is going to be close. This could be a try. No, he's got under him somehow. That was Baker. Charge to the line. Now, Boney in behind, nice little kick. Latini does well, gets away from a couple. Oh, He's driven go. back, though. Oh, Referee geez, calls that's... held, and the West players put their hands up. Gosh. But it's play on now. Keenan looking to get them off their line. Play on, I reckon, Gareth. Yeah, the momentum certainly was going towards the try line. 11, get up. Hold. Go through early 17. Here's Baker again. Done plenty of work and tries running at the smaller man. Knight comes out of dummy half. O'Donnell with a long ball to tie. Tie outside his man. Allison winds up and he's driven towards the touchline, but he'll stay in. And Brad Ty's looking very dangerous over there on that right hand side of the field. Um, a couple so O'Donnell of nice, now looking a couple for the of nice kick. touches this half. Yeah, he has. He's certainly still very quick, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, years and years of experience, and um, yeah, it's good. Oh, this is a good run here by Richardson. Getting the central side on the, the front foot early on. Now Marcel, he'll look to do the same. Oh, steps, that's a knock on. That's a knock on by West. Ball, yeah. Yes, thank you. He stripped the ball. Knock on. It's going to be called a knock on. It's good to see these ex-NRL players coming back to the Newcastle comp. I mean, through the week you saw that Luke Walsh has signed, whether he plays or, or doesn't play, you know, it's, it still gives credit to the comp. Um, you know, it, it's really good, obviously, saying Brad Ty, I mean, he's still got a, another year or two left in him for sure. I mean, he, he's yeah, pretty definitely. young. Um, yeah, Ryan Walker's played a couple of NRL games, obviously Mark Defour with his, um, his career. His career. Um, you know, and in, on the central side you've got I mean, Shane Gray played an NRL game. You've got um, uh, who else there? So Murray goes to Marcel, who looks to hit the ball up, but he's met by some good defence there by the west side. Petro leading the charge. Flick pass. Probably wasn't needed. Putting a bit of pressure on the outside man. 
Now they go forward. Baker does well. He's been good since he's been on Baker. Yeah, he's had a good stint out there. It's been good. And so has this guy too, Sean Metcalf. Yeah, he's... Another centre come front row, which is... Stocky runner. The evolution, which I suppose I was once too. And he's a good penalty for Central. It's a well-earned penalty there for Central. They have worked away, worked themselves out of their half nicely. Murray not getting the, the most on that kick, though. So tap take. Gordon will take them on himself. Coleman in a dummy half. Going across is Cook. Cook met with a strong tackle by single. Here he is again, Baker. Good charging run. Been very the strong. Boney calling for it. Murray's to the left. They go to Murray. Nice little short ball there. Can't get the ball away. Colner. Here's Boney now. The ball bounces. The, the service out of dummy half wasn't the best, but he might make the most of it here. Boney, he's brought down right in front of the sticks. They go to the left to Murray. Murray with quick hands out wide. Oh, Gordon could hold onto the ball then. That was a chance gone begging, Rowan. Yeah, definitely a chance there. Um, they decided to run it on the last play and um, did an error over there on the far side. West look a bit shell shocked here, Gareth. I'm pointing and one out carries and. Uh, they look very one dimensional, don't they? Yeah. They had done all day as well. So Donald comes out. Plenty of width in their play, but they don't seem to be well, central doing anything with any impact at the moment. Central defensively are just are just staying calm and um, defending what they throw at them. Out of dummy half, Brad Ty links up with Matt Herman. Matt Herman, he's probably been their most dangerous of the day. Good run there by Luke Single as he's twisted towards the ground. They go in behind. O'Donnell finds some space. It's not a bad chase by West, but Richardson. Oh, falling there. Midfield. That was Petro. Must got hit by the sniper. <laughs> yeah, lucky for him that he um he got back up, recovered. Little Richardson was gonna go through. Yeah, Tafua. Pulls off a good hit there. Anderson. Looking to weave his way through the defensive line. Now Murphy comes out of dummy half. and Warboys meets Shane Gray. Nice hit. Yeah, James Elias defensively has been very good on this um, this grandstand side here. He's, um, he's a very good player, James Elias. But he, he gets through his work and um, he's been playing well. Murray with a... Kick, not his best of the day, and nah. that'll go out on the full. Good kick pressure there by the wily old fox, Mark Defua there. Showing years of experience. He yeah, had the opportunity to play with Mark in his rugby days. He's where, where was that? At the Waratahs? Played at Waratahs, yeah. He's going to sign for the Hawks this year, apparently. With everyone else, <laughs> all, the lo all the local juniors in the local rugby, but uh. we're here at the rugby league here today. And one thing that you can't take away from the central side, they do tend to keep a lot of their local juniors as well. I know, yeah. I know a few of them go away as to who takes the ball up. Oh, I mean, I, I'll admit, I went. I'm a central junior, and I went away for eight years to Wyong and come back. And you know, one thing I wanted to do when you know my time, I had four more years back Ooh. here, but to make sure that people didn't want to leave and you know they've got a good good club now and the league's club's flying over the road and you know allows them to keep these boys here and not have to go well, keenan goes wide to war boys again they're just drifting across field not really running with any direction or purpose no, i'd like to see mark defour and petro get off the back fence here and you know put a bit of dent in the line war boys with another grubbing kick in behind richardson bounces off his chest here's walkers That's keeps it in too. Runs back, but yeah, it's been called a knock on. Yeah, it wasn't the best, got away with it. Wasn't the best bounce for poor old Cal then. He's been safe all day. He has been. He's been safe all year, but 
It's probably his first mistake of the year. Yeah, there's not. I'll say the year. Oh, his brother, who I know is listening, who's one of my good mates, will know that he. It's not his first mistake for the year, Gareth. So, big shout out there for Benny Richardson. I know he's listening. He's already texted me and criticised our um or my commentary, not yours. Wait for an in call. Come together. Come closer. Wait, wait, wait. Come so closer. Twelve all the score. Ball in. Ten. Ball comes out the back. And Donald Keenan now steps off the right. Stand now. Hold the line. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Go. Here's the West now attacking the line. Hold. Go to. Dummy by O'Donnell. O'Donnell turns around, spins away. Lands on his back. Oh, that's a good run there. Underneath is Murphy. Murphy, does he get under? Held up. Wow. Don Murphy. What a try saving tackle by Murphy. So the score remains 12 all here. It was a very good run there by Single. But Murphy got under him. He's having a bit of a chat to him now. As they go wide, looking to offload. Yeah, Don Murphy showing what a good engine he's got there. He's played the whole game so far in the middle of the field. Ball switches back. Wall boys with a kick to the corner to Marcel's wing. He gets up. Oh, what about the standing jump? He's driven back. How the hell do they drive him back? Very good defence by West. <laughs> it was a good effort. He doesn't go backwards no. too often. That was in motion. Brad's not going to talk. Brad Murray having a bit of a chat. Yeah, I mean, I can kind of see where he's coming from with that, but um, no, we can, it's going to test Central's defence again. Short Ooh. kick off. Oh, oh here we go. Off the head of Ty. He oh, comes up God. with it. Good skill all around. He almost caught him off guard. Bryce Kennedy on the field now. Um, he, um, I don't know what they've done with the restructure there. I'd say he'll be playing hooker. Um, Don Murphy will probably float back to the back of the scrum. So here's War Boys calling to Phil Under. Calling Elias Under goes himself. <laughs> Walker, Elias, Tafua. He'll go forward. Good run by Mark Tafua. This is more direct by West. Now they go wide through Knight to O'Donnell. Keenan turning back on the inside. Matt Herman with the tape around his head. O'Donnell, another stabbing kick in behind to Marcel. They're looking to target him and they might do it at their peril because he gets out and Tafua yeah. is the last man standing to meet him. Yeah, not the best kick chase there by West and then they give away a penalty. So Yeah, good defence there by Central. They get away with that one Central. They did a lot of defending again. The West side going from side to side to and fro, but can't get over the line. No, not at all. I mean, that was, a, that was a fair kick by O'Donnell and the kick chase wasn't as, um, didn't, didn't support the kick. Yeah, kicking early as well. The communication, maybe not quite there for the west side. <coughs> Up to the 40 now. So Murray, he takes them forward, he's Cook with the big palm, he's... Strong on the edge is Cook. Murphy drifting across and he takes them on. Met by Herman. Good quick play. The ball out is Richardson to Murray. So now, last tackle. Boney has it. He looked to go high and across and Keenan comes across. Untested really. Not high enough, not deep enough, maybe, for the fullback. Yeah, I don't think it was high enough. Didn't get the central chases through on time. 
Moltani. Allison was looking for the run, but Keenan took it from dummy half, and he gets the penalty. Jeez. Very pedantic with um, that call. Um, I'll just hope it goes for both teams, that. Yeah, West certainly getting the better of the penalty count here today. It's to John's oval. Almost goes straight through the window of the old boys HQ. Yeah, that's where I'm meant to be. <laughs> Here's Tafua. Tafua looking to get his that's side on run. the roll. That is a very good run. Knight comes out. Goes in behind, finds War Boys. War Boys slices through almost, but it closes up on him. Nice work there by Shane Gray. Now they go wide. They look in behind to O'Donnell. Here's Herman. Flick pass out the back to Ty Ty. Mm. Does on. well to regather. Knock on. I don't know about that one, Rowan. I think that went backwards every day of the week. Yeah. Let's just say... One of the five are in the best position then, weren't they? <laughs> 20 minutes to go here, and, or 21, and really hasn't... No one, no, not neither team's really put their hand up to win the game, have they? That's been almost stale, hasn't it? The west side... A bit camped down this side of the field. Central have had a couple of opportunities up there as well, but no one really been able to convert the points. Both sides looking a little disjointed. Yeah. Here comes Anderson. Can he spark oh. something? That looked a bit high. Now yeah, Lice jumped up to meet him. Here's Marcel again. <laughs> Looks like there might be some trouble. Is it Elias? Time's yours, mate. As we'll stop the clock right there. Looks like Elias injured here. This is, this won't be won't be too good for Wes. Keep going, mate. You're going well. Just keep going to work Wes hard on the ten. So here we go, restart of play. Good defence here by West, they look like they've Got a bit of a spring in their step after the break. Now Murray comes across, stabbing kick to the corner. Keenan does well to cut it off. He's been positioned well all day, Keenan. Very quick across the back, isn't he? Yeah, he's a good player, Sam Keenan. I don't mind him in the front line either, but... Um, I mean, here's, here's Walker on Williams. Gets it to Elias. Elias... His leg looks all right. He's fine. That's a good run. Yeah, lovely run there. Just and getting the play pressure the ball. off. Yeah, nice quick play. The ball, Walker, seizes the opportunity, gets out of dummy half, finds another 10 metres. Alatani back into dummy half and goes again. He's taken maybe a little bit higher there, but... Referee deems nothing wrong with it. O'Donnell now looking for the kick across mm. field. It's a Still nicely way to kick. Anderson does well, though. So now Central looking to work their way out. It's been the story of the day for them, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been. Um, a nice run by Bryce Kennedy, fresh off the off the bench. Haven't seen Warren Schillings back out there for West too. He, that ankle injury must <clears throat> might have pulled him up. Yeah, saw, th saw through to half time, didn't he? Yeah. Came off just before half time. Which he's a player you, you need when you want to close out a game. That's a nice swirling kick by Murray, allowing it to bounce. Alatani 
He's starting to look a bit dangerous here, Alex Holmes. Yeah, he's had a couple of good carries recently. Opportunity here, here going across. West, um, you know, with, with some good field position here. Yeah, nice work there by Mitch Williams coming over the top. He's got the ankle strapping over the boot too. Tafeo is back on as well. He's been on for a few minutes. Calls for forward. Mark Tafua almost overrunning it there. Had to reach back for it. Oh, that inside ball. Too. Yeah, that was almost forward too by Matt Herman. With O'Donnell. He's over the 30 now. Keenan goes across field. Puts the kick in behind, and Anderson. Man in a heavy tackle there. Penalty is called. Seven, eight if you want. Eye contact with him. Number seven if you want it, mate. Yeah. Back to number seven. Get the message to him. So on report. Eye contact. It was War Boys. He kind of fell into that, didn't he? Yeah, I think Cam Henderson slipped a bit. Um, it didn't look like too much in it, but Cam's holding the beak over there. I think he might have copped it across the nose. His modelling career might be in a bit of strife. <laughs> well, he's tall enough for it. <laughs> he's got the legs for it. But it, was, it wasn't much of a kick by West, attacking-wise. It wasn't, um, was it? No. Um, I mean, well, looking at you, you look... Shell shocked yourself. <laughs> just one of these teams is, you know, it's just it's almost like that Roosters Storm game the other night where you know, maybe in the last ten minutes it might come to life a bit. But so Mitch Williams gets them over halfway. Sixteen minutes remaining. Kennedy gets out of dummy half wearing the two jersey. Of course, Marcel started the game. Oh jeez! Well, that goes behind Murray and just not looking and not aware and. The west side now looking to pick it up. No, I don't. I don't think um, Coach Miller would be very happy about that play. And I can hear him. <laughs> yeah. Even with our headphones on. Yeah. <laughs> 15 minutes remaining, 12 apiece here at St. John Oval. No, it's just saying there, there's no urgency being shown at all out there. By either team. This way you'll see some experienced blokes like Mark DeFill for West and Ethan Cook for Central hopefully inspiring their teams to you know, get that little bit of energy and, and, and take this match off. Oh, oh, Walker goes without it and then Boney goes without it. And it's error to error. Not post to post. Oh, coaching. God. <laughs> I'm sure you don't miss it. Oh, not, not at all. So Williams, he's lined up to the right. Let's come together. Brad Murray goes to the left. Boney will be feeding the scrum now. They go to Cook. Cook. We'll take the hit up, and just settle the play. Looking for the quick play, the ball gets a fairly quick one as Kennedy comes out. Jermaine Ale back on the field. I wouldn't mind seeing off a couple of these scrum plays, some of the backs having a, um, having a crack just against each other. I mean, doing oh, something Kennedy different. Kennedy taken from behind. And yeah, West knock on, yep. I don't know, the West side seem awfully cheerful. Yeah, I don't know why. I haven't looked at the referee. I don't know, the, the central line up here for the one point. Does Brad Murray line up just to get the point? Right. Just to break the deadlock yeah, and start yeah, something. Yeah. I mean, they, can set up, they can set up camp down here all they want, which is fine. And But they need to probably come away with something here with a one point. If it's a penalty, having a crack, or obviously a try. Maybe a point might be enough here. So the back of the scrum, Kennedy. He goes to the right. Williams, stuttering run. Up over the 10. 
Boney calls for it. He gets it. Mitch Williams, centre field. Brad Murray calling players out of the way. He wants the ball, and he gets it. Now they go in behind. Richardson drifts across field, gets outside. His man goes towards the line, but he's caught short. Almost slicing him there, Owen. Yeah. Yeah, Cal, every time he hits the ball, he looks like he's going to get something done here. I, I think Brad should position up here for a one point. A try, obviously, would be perfect, but... Well, Cook with a nice little short ball, but no, can't come away with it again. Going behind to Murray and rushing up on him. Putting all the pressure as now Ale has it. Ale's going to be forced to set the ball up and if that's the last tackle. Great work there by West coming off their line and really putting the pressure and putting the screws on the central side. Yeah, good defensive play. I think it was Mark Defoe rushed up there. Showing a bit of experience leading from the front. Interesting the end to see West get out of their own end. Made a couple of errors last time they got the ball. That helps. Yeah, penalty, so. I don't know what that was for, but anyway. Tackling too hard by the looks no, of No, I think he's pointed his shoulder. Was it a shoulder, shoulder charge? charge. <laughs> Back in my day, Rowan. Back in my day. <laughs> oh, I mean, if that's a shoulder. Like, yeah, that was. Like, in, in saying that, if, he, if the player did do that. Um, that's been out for years now, so. Well, here's Baker. Sergeant, we haven't seen him for a while. Good run here. He's been brought on to inject them. Here's Tafua now. He'll go forward. Tafua, he'll take something off his front row partner there and make about 10 metres. Tafua goes on the inside and Knight goes forward, but. Really nothing coming out of that play. As Baker as the war boys now Elias and again drifting across field. Inside ball to war boys. War boys goes towards the line. He's held up. Short. He was turned on his back. It was very good defense by Richardson. Walker now goes to Keenan. O'Donnell, O'Donnell. He'll put the kick in behind. Wrong option probably there. And now Anderson gets them out of trouble. Yeah, I, I think he might have, could have put that through the hands there a little bit there, O'Donnell. Yeah, it's almost as if his first option today has been to kick in behind yeah. that defensive line rather than get the pass out. Well, that's a good hit there. He's been good, Matt Herman. He's Ten minutes to go, Gareth. What do you reckon? Well, it's 12 apiece. And both sides the showing glimpses now. Yeah, a bit of a, both teams showing a bit of fatigue here too. On so many interchanges both teams have got left. I think on for Central, I wouldn't mind seeing um, Sean Metcalf get back out there. For his stint, was, um, his Warren Shillings coming back on. Yeah, Baker West. just came from the field, so Shillings back on, as we said. They'd be wanting him to close out the game, and he will do that. Keep coming, 12. Keep coming, Wes. Hold. Go. Quick tap taken. Steve Gordon goes forward again by himself. Kennedy comes out of dummy half. Mitch Williams. They're 30 metres out now. Brad Murray. Penalty here, I reckon. West will give away a penalty. <laughs> well, you Break heard it here lock. first. They're in front of the sticks. This is where they want it, Rowan. And Jermaine Ayo, oh, good run here. Here he goes towards the line. Is he over? He's going to be held up. Good run. Jermaine Ayo oh, getting his team going. Run. That's four. Now Kennedy, he goes to Murray. Murray goes in behind. Mitch Williams is taken in a good tackle. Around the midriff there by O'Donnell. Now Murray kicks in behind. Oh, Did oh, not. Warren Schillings. To do that and Warren Schillings. In the slips. Sign him up. I think he played cricket for Yarn Team. I think I played against him. He, um, maybe he did go on the slips. With a catch like that. 
I'd be putting in a point. <laughs> oh, coming off the line. Yeah, it's a penalty. It's shoulder charge. Yeah, not getting his arms no. around. He really no, threw himself at that one, didn't he? And Alatani gets up, has a bit of a laugh, and shakes it off. That one comes towards us here in the commentary box, finds about 10 metres, and Walker. He'll have the run. He'll pass the ball. They go midfield to Fayo. Takes it forward. I think the two, I'd like to see the two West centres getting the ball. Shillings up to halfway. Good run. Yeah, they're the two danger men on the fringes, aren't they? And they really haven't seen much ball at all here today. Uh, not at all. Especially with the kick in behind. That's been the preferred option. And now Shillings goes again. Good run. Now they're 30 metres out. They've lifted here the west side. Oh, just as I say that, night goes. I don't know what happened. Did he slip over? Yeah, he slipped over on his own feet, I think. Oh. And he looks absolutely filthy at himself. Punching the ground. Yeah, I don't know what happened then. This might be a draw, the way we're going. <laughs> Well, the lights are on here. The cloud is dark. Maybe that's what happened. Lost it. Come together. Wait for an in call here. So again, the desperation by both sides taking their time to the scrum. Here's Marcel again. And again, making about 10 metres. Murray out of dummy half. Steve Gordon hold. Go looking to start something. Which Williams turned back on the inside. Mark, keep coming. Hold. Go three. Here's Boney. Boney drifts across We're field. Jermaine Ayle almost scoring the try earlier on. Boney gets the ball. Going back on the inside, Shane Gray now. Oh, oh, coming in with a shoulder there, Shillings. Yes. <laughs> he got away with that one, Rowan. Yeah. Well, maybe they might come back to it. They did it oh, before. There's the, the left foot goal. kick what? by Brad Murray. Oh, we know he's good, but he was under plenty of pressure there. Optimistic. 40 out on the left foot. Yeah. I know he, he is left footed. No, he's not. <laughs> Maybe he is. Wait. Oh, good hit. shot. Coming off his line there. Hold it. Go zero. Madden's been good since he's yeah, been, he's back been on. impressive out there. Ethan Cook's cousin. There you go. Hold. Hold. The family club. <laughs> Up towards halfway. Good run. By Brad Ty. That looked. Yeah, the good run by Matt Herman, yeah, though. He charged onto it there, Herman, and almost looked forward as Knight comes out of dummy half again. Shillings. I think West are going to have to have a strike here at field goal, maybe. And I think Sam Keenan's here behind the part, behind the ruck here. Yeah, they're Directing people straight up. Certainly directing them around, aren't they? And it looks like Sam Keenan's yeah, back in the pocket. The here. So they're going to have to put pressure the central no, side. Look, Donald. Out on their feet. Oh, and that is one oh. of the worst attempts at a field goal I've ever seen, Rowan. <laughs> They're going to get another set here. And the regather wasn't much better. How many people were... There was a few West blokes in front there. Drop yeah, but I think he touched it. Yeah, when he touched it. Yeah, you're right. Yep. Yeah, okay. I'll go this side. Yeah, I'm 100%. He Great probably boy, got a hand on the ball. Yeah, Sam Keenan was lined up there straight behind the ruck. And I'm, I think no. they went to the wrong player there. Yeah. The communication again, letting the West side down. Wait, Brad. Get behind 20. A physical match here at Sir John Oval. There's a few minutes remaining. That's a good kick. That's a lovely oh. kick. Oh. 
Allison, that's a good run there yeah, by was. the winger. It was. Now they're setting up again. The west side. Brad Ty gets out of <laughs> dummy half. She's That's knocking it. the door down here, Wes. They're struggling here, the central side. To get back, Knight goes to the right. Bounces out of the tackle, tries to do it himself, can't. Keenan standing in, looking for the quick field goal. Oh, there we go. Not just looking for it, but finding it. Yeah, play three, Sam Keenan. Three minutes to go here. Well, he was standing very flat, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. I think he just thought, well, he was the man to go to before. And I mean, West had an opportunity there to maybe score, but in the end, they're in front now. 13-12 the score. Mineras near. Brad Murray, I'm sure, will go for a short kickoff, and Central will get a chance to hear. They've, still, they've got plenty of game breakers in their team. So. so Brad Murray with a short kick, looking to get up there. Anderson. Oh, yeah. Keenan yeah. does well. He's... He's had a pretty good game. He's been everywhere, hasn't he? And so is this Here he guy. comes again. Herman. What's he done? He's done a hemi or something. Yeah, that didn't look good, did uh, it? No, uh, no, something's not right with Matt Herman there. Greenhead band. Number 12, mate. That uh, might be cramp. What is it? Number 12. Yeah, 12. 12 yeah. Move on. Tackle two. Come on. Yeah, they need to get up there, don't oh, they? Oh, it's cramp. That's fatigue. That's play on. That's yeah. move the ball, play the ball. I mean, you don't want to risk injury, I guess, but... No, nah, but... But it's a cramp? Yeah, it's a cramp. They're going to stop the play for a tired person, and the cramps are... <laughs> With the trainers out on the field, the five referees and 13 players, yep. someone's got to sort it out. So Brad Ty plays the ball. Schillings goes across field. Tafeo comes across, but they make about five metres on that. Mm, Central going to probably get one more set here, and they're, they're probably going to be coming from their own end. So Schilling's almost getting in front there Need as well. Need something special here from Ethan Cook or Brad Murray and Cal Richardson, obviously. He's looked oh. dangerous. Here he goes again. Uh, must be the, the strapped cramp. ankle. Big smile on his face yeah, as well. No doubt. Hold, hold, <laughs> go uh, Here good. comes Tafua. Warren looks very good now, actually. Look at him running off. Yeah, Tafua, what's he going to do? He'll get up and play the ball. Now Warboys goes across again, in behind the line. Richardson does well. He's going to be... They're going to have to go the length. They've got, a, they've got one more set. A lovely quick play the ball there. And Marcel, he goes across field. But he's met nicely. Good defence here by West, really getting off their line now. A minute and a half remaining. Going wide now, Cook drifts. Now they're back inside, Richardson. Thinks about passing and doesn't. Now he goes across field. Oh, good tackle. Yeah, nice work. Baker. Now Ail, he steps back inside and gets them up over halfway. Brad oh, Murray man, from good. about 45 out. Oh, and it just goes to the left. Oh, bloody hell. With less than a minute remaining, our hearts were in our mouths. And Jeez, that was a fair strike from Murray. He had a good crack at it, didn't he? Off his right yeah. foot, and he's not even right-footed, Rowan. No, apparently not. So 44 seconds here, West will just grind this last couple of tackles out, I'd say. It's been a pretty good game. I'm, it's been a hard game, hasn't it? The, the points have been hard to come by, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I do believe, I think some of the refereeing, um, there's been probably too many penalties. I'm not saying that they weren't justified, but... Um, yeah, discipline certainly... Yeah, it's very hard to, you know, they're refereeing the game as if it's an NRL match, yet we've got blokes here who train twice a week. So fatigue, and I'm not saying if you're doing the wrong thing, you need to be penalised, but a couple, I think they over-referee a few things. Alatani, slow to his feet. Here's Walker, Walker looking to add further to the scoreboard. 
And that'll be a West win. So West, West come win. away with a 13-12. Yep. An absolute nail biter. Well, who was your best out there, Ron? Oh, geez. I'd obviously West got the win. I'd, I'd have to say Matt Herman was probably the best for West. Um, Central had some very good players. Don Murphy was good. Jermaine Ale was really good. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd have to say um, Matt Herman was pretty good for West. Yeah, very good. Thanks very much. I have to agree with you there. Thanks very much for joining us here on Bar TV. We'll certainly get you back throughout the year. Uh, thanks very much, everybody, for tuning in to Bar TV Sports. Of course, stay tuned for all our matches on delay in the Newcastle Rugby League and indeed the entire Bar TV Sports program.